Alrighty, this puzzle seems to be about Mars. Mars sometimes goes through retrograde. You, you know that, right? You know, sometimes it looks like the planets are going backwards instead of going forwards. And that was kind of a problem for Ptolemy and, you know, Copernicus. And uh, apparently this is Apollonius's solution to the puzzle. Sort of like this. What if, what if Mars goes on a machine like this? So it's making a giant circle, but occasionally makes smaller circles. That would explain why it sometimes goes into retrograde, why it sometimes goes backwards. So uh, the official terms are epicycle and uh, deferent, as this game is explaining. But as you can see, if, if you mess around with the two different pegs, it changes uh, the circles and the pathway that Mars travels around Earth. Okay, and that's, of course, if you've got the geocentric model. Okay, so let's see if we can solve this puzzle. This is clearly the puzzle here. Let's go back to those notes. What specifically am I aiming for? I pause at the I pause the arms at the moment Mars was moving backwards in retrograde. Okay, so let's pause when Mars is going backwards. Okay, so that is the smaller circle. Here's what it looks like if I move the larger circle. This is kind of cool. Okay, 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 let's make it a little less. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna make the minor circles a little bit more. So I need to pause at the exact second. Let me make the larger circle like that. So it's a lot easier to pause at the second that Mars is going backwards relative to somebody who's on Earth looking forward. Okay, got it. Exact same second. Okay. Have to be kind of specific there. Alrighty, so let's move on to puzzle number two. Puzzle number two, obviously we know that's not the case. Um, that's how, you know, Ptolemy and Apollonius figured it out. But if the sun is in the center of the universe, how do we figure it out? It's with speeds, actually. Earth is moving faster than Mars, so that's why Mars actually looks like it's going backwards. It's not really going backwards, but it kind of looks like it's going backwards. See the, see the model there? Okay, so I played around with the speeds of both planets, making Earth go around the Sun in less time than Mars. So the laser beam moved through the constellations in the right order, but whenever Earth was kind of close to Mars, as you can see here, when they caught up uh, in their orbits, it would temporarily go backwards, and I can pause at the moment it goes backwards. Okay, seems very much like the uh, previous puzzle, so let's do this. Hmm. Okay, so this controls Earth speed. I just need to pause at the moment where uh, it looks like Mars is going backwards if you're standing on Earth. So it's right around there. I, I might have paused a little bit too soon, but it looks like the game had uh, had leniency on me and said, Hey, close enough. Thank you, game. You're so nice to me sometimes. Okay, so this particular wire whew, goes all the way down there. Okay, let's follow it. Let's follow it. find a different way to get down there, don't I? Yeah, it goes all the way down to the beach, and I don't think I've explored... There's the well, there's the well. I imagine this would be, like, one of the last puzzles when I get... One of the last puzzles of this particular area. Okay, so let's see if we can find a way to go down. Yeah, this game is cool. I'm learning so much about ancient astronomy and, and such. That's one of the cool things about science is when people debate, you know, alternate alternate explanations, alternate theories for, you know, why why does the sun shine? Why do things move? 
What are the factors behind uh, climate change? Anything that's really, really complicated probably can, uh, you know, if it's complicated enough, people will probably have multiple viewpoints on uh, it. As we can see, complicated topics generally tend to result in a uh, debate. This isn't just science, this is also with, you know, politics. Whoa. What am I doing here? I, I turned this thing on. Oh, it's draining this pool. Oh, hey, that's cool. So that opens up a new area down here. Is there anything I can pick up from the ground here, or are those just rocks? I think those are just rocks. Let's go here. Really uh, gonna close that door behind me. Don't wanna drown. Oh, I can't close the door behind me. <laughs> but I, I wanna make sure I don't drown. Um, okay. Let's see, I'm walking forward. Presume these are more journal notes. Wow. I say, I say, this 12 year old kid is setting up some majorly complicated machines. Granted, these, these machines are saving our hero from pirates, but, like, wow, I don't think the pirates would ever be able to solve these puzzles. Okay, so about an hour past high tide, this drained. I went inside this underground area. We've got a bridge. One bridge we don't need isn't wrecked. The bridge we do need is wrecked. Okay, so I kept thinking about differences between heliocentric and geocentric models. There's no need for stars to be stuck on a spear. Uh, people thought they were on a spear so they would all move, you know, in synchronous orbit. But the Earth spins itself around. There's no need for stars to be stationary on a sphere or for them to be all the same distance from us. Yeah. Sid to hang lights all around. We use the retractable bridge to get up to the ceiling. By shifting my position sideways, the stars closer to me shift more than the stars that are farther away. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. The closer a star is, the more it seems to move. have the effect of, uh, yeah, like you said, you know, when you're driving. Alrighty, I'm just gonna try to skip ahead to the next part. Hey, there's Venus at sunrise. Beautiful Venus. Okay. Where I can position Venus on the far side of the sun to contradict Ptolemy. We're gonna show Ptolemy wrong! Maybe. What are we first trying to do? Okay, so I can move myself left and right. I wonder what these buttons in front of me do. Huh, I can flip those. Pulling that switch, apparently that's what I do when I'm finished. Okay, so I'm switching this colors around, I see. Hmm. I'm not 100% sure what it is I'm gonna do here. Oh, you know, what it is my goal for this particular puzzle is. Okay, so I'm moving on this track, left and right. I don't see anything else here in this room besides these Oils, which I don't need. Okay. Okay, so I'll tell you what I'm gonna do here. I'm just gonna end the video. Read, read, read my diary again. Try to figure out what, what I'm doing with these colors here. And then I'll, I'll come back. 
solve the puzzle.